Hello, hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Um, it's a rainy day here, so that's a good day to paint. Every day's a good day to paint, but it's especially a good day to paint if it's rainy and nasty outside. Um, I was thinking, um, I don't recall doing a traditional Dutch pour with this Shelly Art stuff. I don't recall, like, putting the puddle and then covering it up and blowing it out. Um, I'm sure I've done it before, but I don't remember how it turns out, so I thought I'd try that. I've been in the mood to do something different today anyway, so, um, that'll be our something different for this one. This canvas is one of those cursed canvases. I haven't been able to get anything to go right with this canvas, so, uh, I don't know, fingers crossed, you know. This is the pillow paint, the Golden Premium Cinema Gloss Base one, um, and it's, um, got some GAC 800 in it and I'm going to try to brace this up a little bit because it's been tilting that way and um, I braced this again the table again um, but it still isn't um, right so anyway um, I'm going to just put that much down there and then I can't really spin it, so I'm just gonna. This is horrible with all this black paint on it. That was my failure during the off time. Um, it didn't. I can't even remember what I was doing, but it didn't work out. And um, so I want to get this kind of all over it, and then I'll put down the colors, and then I'll put another ring around it. You know, like a traditional Dutch pour, kind of. Um, that's my plan, anyway. Um, I hope this works, because I hate having failures with this Shelly Art stuff. It's expensive. And, um, it's kind of like somebody on a diet overeating. I hate myself every time I do one, and it doesn't work out. Um, but these are some interesting colors, and so I figure, you know, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what the hell. I mean, you know what I'm going to. Um, I'm never gonna back down from something new, never gonna back down from something different, never gonna back down from a challenge of any kind. So, I don't know why I let it upset me when things go wrong, because they inevitably will. It's just part of it. All right, what we got here is, this is a beautiful color. Look at that. That is color art. Uh, it's one of the brownish pigments, obviously. And then I mixed some um, bronze and some burnt sienna in there with it. That's staying pretty level right there. That's pretty good. So, um, I love that. It's got that pretty goldish um glint to it that's really cool and then um let's go ahead and put the deep green on top of that this is deep green is the paint and um um the pigment is um i don't know the name of it it's a like a deep key lime um it's like key lime but darker All right, and then, um, then we have some copper. It is tilting a little bit. And I'll just try to hurry. This, this is key, key, um, Chartreuse paint is all this is. There's no key lime in here. I'm running low on that. And I, I didn't want to use it. I don't know why, because I'm just going to use it on something else. But I'm trying to preserve it for some opportunity where nothing but key lime will do. You know? And this wasn't that opportunity. Because I have the Chartreuse paint and it's so beautiful. I love it. So I thought, well, I can get by, I'll save my key lime. And this is persimmon pigment, mostly. I have a little bit of Deco Art Coral 
mixed into this, but just to put some, to be able to add some paint to it. I love that color just by itself, and I would have just left it alone, except for I think the pigments do better when they're paired with paint. I just, they just seem to. Uh, to me, I don't know about everybody else, but to me, they just do better. This is gold. It's um, some eye candy pigment that has that neat glitter in it. And then it's some uh, Decor 24 karat gold mixed in there too. And that's a big ass puddle there. Um, I didn't really mean to make it that big, but it's that big. So um, first let's try to get it sort of semi-even in the middle to begin with. It didn't float off too bad, but it did a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to kind of put a little bit around the edges and uh, put a little bit over it. I'm not going to like smother it completely because this is thick paint and I don't know exactly what this is going to do. try this I just wanted to try it all right now we got to put the cell activator on don't let me forget that uh, I did not put any silicone in anything this time I almost forgot that what a kick that would have been okay all right. now I'm not gonna yeah I am gonna blow down in the middle first um, but I am going to take my little tool off the end. bracing that I've done it it makes it where this thing won't work all right doesn't work just real well to begin with you know sounds like it's on its last legs very slippery. Uh, why did all the brown go to one side and all the coral come to the other side? I mean, there's coral in there. I see it. Um, it's pretty. Uh, I wish it would have mixed a little better. Usually this, this uh, turntable thing, it's pretty. I shouldn't be bitching. Um, it's pretty. I just, um, usually it doesn't come out with all, you know, all the brown is on one side. All that sienna went to the other side for some reason. There's not much of it over here. But it's pretty. Um, and that's okay. The lacing is really pretty. That did really well. I don't know um, how we classify this as, as an experiment as far as being different than um, when I just pour it and I don't push the paint over the top, um, I don't think it's much different than that. Um, 
I really don't want to tilt this very much because I got a feeling if I do, I'm going to mess up my lacing. And um, I like that lacing the way it is. It's got pretty coral colors and um, green colors in it. And it did not overwhelm with white. You know, I was worried that there would be just like white everywhere, but it didn't do that. I don't think I'm gonna screw with it. Um, I think it looks pretty good the way it is, and I'm afraid if I nitpick with it, I'm gonna break it down into ugliness, because that canvas is cursed. I'm serious, I don't believe in things like that, but you get one every now and then that it seems like nothing will work on. You know, it just, um, no matter what you try, it just won't work. And I've had them that I've had to throw away because I just can't get anything to work on them. And I'm not saying that's because of the curse, I'm just saying, Sometimes you just try with a certain canvas over and over and it just gets to where you just you just need to throw it away <laughs> You just need to start over, you know, one thing I might could do I wonder if When I turn this fan if that light would turn to where it wasn't facing directly to us That might get rid of that big bright glare I don't know. That's really pretty. I like it. Um I, I can be nitpicky. Um, let's look up close. See what you think. See that beautiful deco art gold? Wow. And that lacing. Uh, look at the lacing on this side. Because it's got the green and coral mixed in with the lacing. That's really pretty. I love that coral color. Persimmon is the um, color. And I'm going to torch that center a little bit and see if some little cells will pop out in there and open that up a little bit. But maybe in a minute. I already got y'all down, so I'm not going to do that on camera. Anyway, I hope I, that y'all enjoyed this. And uh, I enjoyed you being here. Thank you. And um, oh, what was I going to tell y'all about this time? I was going to tell y'all something this time. Oh, well, it escapes me. I'll tell you next time when I think about it. I have Alzheimer's. All right. <laughs> I really feel like I do sometimes. Um, because I was just thinking about something I wanted to say to y'all, and now I can't think about what it was. But anyway, that's really beautiful. I like this lacing over in here. That's really nice. And I'm going to use those colors again a little bit. I've got some, a couple of them left. So I don't know what I'll do with them, but something else. Anyway, thank you for being here, y'all. I'll try to think of what I want to say. And uh, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Join me next time.